I guess we're pulling out Flightless because I didn't actually end up healing Oblivious. Because I'd be intelligent and would, you know, be something a smart Pokemon trainer would do. So, not something I did, clearly. Also, I pulled out a flying Pokemon against the um, electric Pokemon. Okay. I guess electric is like the one thing that actually wrecks a good half or three quarters of my team. We're going to heal Oblivious, and then we'll get him back out here and get him to level 75, if we can, one day. One day. I believe it will happen. Also, flight is that's fine. Whatever. Whatever, we'll put you in coma mode. In the Pokeball. I'm sure it does, like, you can't even move in the Pokeball anyways. It, you're just stuck in there. You're like crammed in that little ball, so... It doesn't matter if you're paralyzed or not, you're not going to be able to run free. Because I'm not a nice trainer like Ash. I can't... What, why is that... Oh, you know what? I'm flying too, aren't I? Shit. Let's try overheat. Let's just use the exploding popcorn kernel move. Seems to be pretty effective. I'm not gonna lie. I mean, I know when people throw exploding popcorn kernels at me, I'm, I'm pretty scared that it's effective. So, yep, let's change. Um, I guess Wisharoo, even though this probably won't go terribly well. See, I, I feel like I need an electric Pokemon. And, yeah, I pretty much just need an electric Pokemon. So, maybe we'll go get that one dude. After this, we might go get that one guy from the Safari Zone. See if that works out. I don't know how obnoxious he'll be, because we will have to use Safari Balls. So, it could be three hours of me throwing Pokeballs. Okay, you know what? My recording stopped. Card full. Okay, um, I'm going to take a quick break, guys. Right now you're hearing some slightly inferior um, audio. So I'm going to take a break, and I'll be back in one second at the end of this fight. I'm just going to stop this recording right now so I don't get confused. Okay, I'll see you guys later. Bye. Okay, that was... Uh, I have no idea what was going on there. I turned my mic on and off about four times, and then suddenly, magically, it told me that it had 15 hours of recording time left. So my mic went insane. Um, so you might hear in, like, probably 45 seconds of slightly scratchier audio than normal, but then it'll be back to this, because it's my mic again. I don't really know what the hell happened there. My house is probably haunted, somehow. Um, but on the plus side, it seems like Wisharoo is actually doing something decent. Maybe because Blastoise is just using Iron Defense instead of actual moves, which would, you know, maybe kill my Wisharoo, but that's not important. But, you know, maybe Blastoise was being nice. He knew that I had I had a handicap that I, I couldn't talk and I wasn't recording. So he's like, you know what? I'll just I'll play it easy on him. I'll use some iron defense while he figures out his shit. And then I was really mean and didn't tell him I'd figured it out. And then I just killed him anyways because I'm a horrible person. Uh, for it, just... I still don't understand amnesia. I don't know how the hell that makes you stronger. Maybe you forget you're a really shitty little for it. And then you're like, aha, I'm better than this. I'll actually be able to attack you. Maybe. Ah, critical. Wisharoo does not like people who forget things. Way to go, Wisharoo. You've done it. -da 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 -da. You're an awful person. Well, I am awful because I didn't tell you that I'd gotten my recording started and so you were just using Iron Defense, but I'm not that awful. Like, just kind of like, you know, 6%, 7% awful. Not that bad. That's okay. That's a decent percent of awful. You know, that's what most people have, sort of. I'm just going to heal these guys for no reason. We might as well just use Wisharoo and Oblivious, because... Yay, they're fun. I might also end up putting a, an experience share on Wisharoo if we end up fighting stronger Pokemon. I don't know. We'll see. I want to get them all to 75. Hey, you, Miss Freya wants to fight you herself, but your journey ends here. I'm from Italia, and I hide in this weird mountain full of magma. Team Asgard Grunt would like to battle. He sent out a Krega Guga Guga. That looks like, um... Superman's Fortress of Solitude. So that's good, you know. The Superman's Fortress of Solitude has gone on vacation and is now residing in a Pokeball. Not really not really sure why. Um, but I mean, you know, whatever floats your boat, if you need to relax, if it's relaxing to play Pokemon. Insta I mean, I'm sure it gets tiring being a, a Fortress of Solitude. It's probably pretty lonely, you know. Not a lot of people in the, at the Fortress of Solitude except for Superman every once in a while when he comes to chill there. Uh, no, we will fight the Ice Cream Pokemon. See, I did know what this one was, because I did play Pokemon Black, and I did actually have this Pokemon. It's also the pun Pokemon, because it's called fucking Vanillux. 
And I think the evolved form of it is two. That might be the evolved form. I don't know. I think the unevolved form is just one ice cream scoop. Either way, a very punny Pokemon and terribly obnoxious. Although, I can't say obnoxious because I, I use puns all the time and I kind of love puns even though they're horrible. Um, but even watching the television show, like 80% of the, the jokes on there are puns. I know I've mentioned this before, but I just like to reiterate again, if you like puns, probably should watch the Pokemon television show. And assuming that was co-opted by Nintendo in some form or way, um, that's probably why they started putting puns into the game. They just finally like let their true self out. I guess your journey can last a few more grunts. Or all the more grunts. I don't think I've lost to a grunt. I've lost to Odin because he was stupidly overpowered, but... Uh, what's down here? Aha! A secret pool of magma that I can accidentally fall into. Just what you never saw coming. Okay, I don't know why there are all these weird... Scenic... Sir, what in the absolute... I can't even... What? Like, I wouldn't even get lost up here. The only reason I'm here is because I'm making sure I didn't miss anything. Ah, the Pokemon Rangers are pathetic. Okay. Wow, just hurl those. I'm, I feel hurt right now. Just hurl those insults. Just don't even care. Just don't even care. Um, you know what? If I had a Pokemon that looks like a truck just ran over it and it still has tire marks on its head, I'd probably insult other people too because that's, that's pretty sad. Um, actually, my condolences. I'm, I'm sorry you let your Pokemon uh, out into the street. You know what? A little less sorry now, seeing as you just... Um, oh no, the popcorn move, it missed! But the popcorn was my last chance. No, I need an electric Pokemon. Not to fight this thing, but... In general, Stunfisk is reminding me of the qualities of electric Pokemon. It's also reminding me that every electric Pokemon isn't Pikachu, who has the special defense of a walnut. So... I should take that back, that's an insult to the walnut. Because walnuts, I feel like, could probably handle a special attack. Where Pikachu, you know, could be a water Pokemon using, you know, could be, uh... Could be a Goldeen using, um... Or it could be, no, it could be a Magikarp using Splash. Probably still one hit, uh, one hit Pikachu. Because, I don't know, special defense, th there's a reason I abandoned him. And that reason is his terrible special defense. It may have been negative. Experts debate, but I'm pretty sure. That was super effective. Well, let's kill this thing. It is 10 levels higher than me as well, which kind of makes sense. But I killed it, so hooray for Wisharoo. Only 3,000 experience, though. A Porygon Z. Um, yeah, I guess I'll switch out to Seahorse for this one, just to clean up really quickly. Unless the Porygon Z somehow defeats my Seahorse. Surprise, Porygon Z is level 120, the secret grunt trainer you never saw coming. And that's my cat, who I never saw coming. Probably because I wasn't really paying attention. That did a surprisingly obnoxious amount of damage. Okay. I'm glad I chose my level 80 for this one. Otherwise, I might have actually had a problem against that really weird Porygon Pokemon. Hooray! Not as pathetic as I am, oh god, that's... It's okay, dude, you were actually a decent trainer compared to most of them. I wouldn't... I don't feel too bad. I'd be worried about spending money, but I get so much money from my gentleman suitors slash Mewtwo that it doesn't really matter. Um, I'm actually going to heal Oblivious, I think. Just because I still want to get him to level 75. Because I've set this new random goal for myself, but... Now that I have set the goal, I'm apparently very excited about it and decide to mention it every 15 seconds. Guys, guess what? I'm gonna get to level 75. Let me tell you about it six or seven more times. That should really pique your interest, right? No? Okay. Here we go. Boop. It's time. Asgard Grunt will rise to the I'm sure you will, bud. You're so close. I mean, potentially you're closer to the, the Gigamurgamigig than the other guys, so you should be a little stronger. You know, you, you might already be close to the top. Um, but now we're just fighting... Flame Dude against Flame Dude, so I'm not really sure. I'm pretty sure Charizard is the best Flame Pokemon, so... Also, he's mad, so he's using Criticals. Because that guy's just using Stockpile, so... I mean, while that's impressive, and might make you live another turn... I, I still think this is one of the cooler-looking Pokemon. It's like a mole, but it's got crazy heat things. And it also have moves that miss. That's pretty cool. I mean, you know, not everyone can miss all their moves. That, that is a talent. That is a skill. 
Many people try for years and still end up not missing all their moves, but, you know, some people like that mole can just, bam, it's natural. Um, no, we're gonna actually try to kill the Electros. Uh, we're just gonna try overheat really quick. Oh, there we go, popcorn. Go, popcorn! Explode! Into a, a cornucopia of buttery goodness for all to enjoy. That might kill me. No, it didn't. Good. I was paralyzed, but uh, we're gonna hope that Oblivious uses his... That's Flame Burst. I used the wrong move. Well, that I killed him. That's my bad, Oblivious. I'm gonna blame me. Actually, he might have become faster than me because I was paralyzed. But still, I'm gonna blame me because I used, I think, a slower move. Either that or I'm making shit up. But I'm still gonna blame me just because... Yeah. I mean, you're Oblivious to blame. You wouldn't even care if I blamed you or me or... If I blamed, you know, Obama, I wouldn't, I, you wouldn't give a shit, but, you know, I'm still, still for me, it makes me feel better if I blame myself. There we go, Wisharoo, level 57. Uh, a Durant. Now we're gonna keep this guy in, Dan Dan. That's not his name, but whatever. It's, uh, the best magic card ever. If anyone knows what I'm talking about, no one does, and everyone has, uh, promptly walked away from the screen, that's okay. But if you look it up, it's, it's impressive. It's basically a, uh, empty boat card, so. No, I know, still no one knows what I'm talking about, but I'm just, I think there's one person who might know what I'm talking about. Everyone else is like, I don't. Please get back to Pokemon and battling, so I can mute the thing again. Just kidding, no one mutes it. You guys all love to listen to my beautiful voice. Like, seriously, if, if you muted this, I don't know what you're watching this for, because this is in no way a skilled or um, efficient walkthrough of this game. There are definitely, they, there probably are those. This is not one of those. We start at the bottom, now we're still at the bottom. That's my life motto. Um, yeah, there are definitely better places you could go for a uh, detailed walkthrough of the game. Yep, you're still at the bottom. You already said that. We're here for the experience, guys. We're all through in this together. It's like we're learning as a team. A team with a leader that's probably worse at Pokemon than everyone watching. But still, we're here as a team. I'm just going to use a team that's using all of its money on revives and hyper potions for no reason. Or there's the reason that I want to use Oblivious and Wisharoo. Because they're fun! We Are we at the Giga Rainbow yet? Or are we just going to keep walking through these lava fields? I'm okay with the lava... Oh, no. Still more lava fields. You cannot defeat me! You cannot defeat... Anyway. See, this guy's... This is the dude that's been, like, in the back reading a magazine the whole time, not realizing that I would have had to go through, like, 15 or 20 other grunts to get to him. And two other Giga Remos, so... Not the smartest, you know, tool in the shed. As I've said before, because apparently I like that expression now. Not the sharpest tool in the shed. 